Hi, thank you. Well, this bitter cold weather may have you concerned about freezing pipes or damage from the winds. According to a recent survey from Country Financial, six out of ten homeowners worry they're not going to have enough money to repair their homes if damage occurs. Tim Botini is an insurance agent with Country Financial. He's with us this morning with some advice on some steps you can take during this cold blast. Good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, I think a lot of homeowners are concerned. So what are some steps we can take to protect our home? Sure. So when you think in terms of the cold weather, mm -hmm. you know, to, to be out in front of it, you know, you would want to maybe look and see where my shutoff valve is coming into my home, mm -hmm. but make sure the shutoff valve works yes. ahead of time. <laughs> Very important, right? Because that happened to a friend of mine a while back. He went to turn the water off with mm -hmm. a busted pipe and it didn't work. Oh my goodness. So that, that could be a problem, right? Yes. Uh, you know, proper insulation, when you think about it, you have to know your home. Everyone's home is different, right? Mm -hmm. So do I have a crawl space? Do I have uh, pipes out in my garage? Do I have pipes in the attic? So we need to know what, what we have to work with, where our pipes are, are they inside walls, outside walls? Mm -hmm. Proper insulation, are the windows properly sealed off? We just mentioned egress windows yes. a little bit ago. Uh -huh. So to make sure those egress windows are properly uh, removed of the debris, mm -hmm. because there's a drain there, you know, for water to drain through. Yeah. So, you know, to me, again, the, the shutoff valve, knowing where they're at and making sure they work, is really important. Absolutely. Uh, when should we be worried about our pipes freezing? Well, we know that, you know, we know water freezes margin at 32 degrees, right? Yeah. So probably maybe in that 40, 45 degree range. Mm -hmm. Again, we're kind of back to doing your due diligence ahead of time, looking out when you're like in the fall, sure. you're looking at your home going, okay, well, what are things I need to be thinking about before it happens? Yeah, absolutely. Can pipes freeze overnight in one night? They can. Yeah. Yes, they can. Correct. So, Again, Mother Nature does <laughs> does what you know, what she wants to do. Yeah. So 32 or below, it freezes, and then again, all bets are off. We don't know. Yeah. How about bursting? Can can, can they be frozen and not burst? Or are they generally going to burst? Yes. Yeah, so they can freeze but not burst. Uh huh. So if the if the water is frozen in line, what I've you know picked up on over the years is that even though they haven't burst, there may be damage have been caused to the seal, mm -hmm. maybe inside the pipe. So even though they thaw out, you may want to check with a professional plumber to have you looked at moving forward. Yeah, so Tim, your best, best advice for people today, it sounds like to, to know where those pipes are, know, right? Yes, Yeah. know where they are, know where the shutoff valves are, make sure they work, and that's, that's, that's your best start. All right, very good. Tim Bettine, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning with Country Financial. Thank you, thank All right, you. We're going to take a break. We'll be back.